Hey students, it's me, Mr. Fitz. So I just want to take a couple of minutes and go through this question here. Which figures below can have a triangle as a two-dimensional cross-section? Um, number one, by the way, these are Roman numerals. Number one is a cone. Number two is a cylinder. Number three is a cube. And number four is a square pyramid. So remember, a cross-section is just a slice, a two-dimensional slice of a three-dimensional object. So I always use the analogy of like a deli slicer. So if you go to the deli and like we slice off these like 3D shapes, what shapes can you create by slicing them? So I'm going to go through the one that doesn't work first. Um, the one that doesn't work is the cylinder, because the only thing you can create like with a cylinder, if I slice a cylinder, so if I kind of slice this thing vertically or perpendicular to the base, I could create a rectangle. If I slice it parallel to the base, I would create a circle. Um, and if I slice it, you know, kind of a little slanted to the base, you could create like an elliptical shape or an oval. Um, but it's going to have to have like some sort of curvy shape unless it's perpendicular to the base. Um, you could also slice it, you know, maybe like slanted, but like through it, you know, like kind of like down. Um, and you might create like some sort of like rectangular shape that way too. You kind of slice it right. Actually it'd be like, no, that would still be an oval. Um, so anyway, it's definitely not gonna create a triangle. So that's out. So let's go ahead and cross that one off our list. Cylinder. So cylinder is not going to work. Whoop. Sorry about that. So cylinder is not going to work. Now let's talk about the second one, right? So the second one would be, or so the first one, the cone. If I slice this cone kind of like down vertically from the vertex, so the pointy part of the cone is known as the vertex. If I slice it down that way, then yeah, you could create a triangle, right? You're going to just slicing it directly in half from the point, so from that vertex. So yeah, you could create a triangle that way. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. So that one works. So let's highlight that. Um, a cube, this is the one that kind of throws a lot of students off. So you can actually create a triangular cross section from a cube. So if we just zoom in a little bit here, if I just cut off, slice off like one of the corners, that's gonna work here, watch. If I just slice off, say like this corner here, you could create a triangle. So you're just slicing off one corner of the cube. Um, that would actually create a triangle. Think of it as like you're almost like creating a triangular pyramid from that corner. So um, that's also known as a tetrahedron. So yeah, that one works. So the cube works. Let's go ahead and highlight that one. And then the square pyramid, of course, a square pyramid is going to work because look, it's got these triangular faces. So if we just kind of like slice off, you know, kind of perpendicular to the base or even a little slanted to the base, you could create, you know, sort of like this triangular image right here. You know, if we just slice off one of those faces. So yeah, any one of those works. So the answer is one, three, and four. The only one that doesn't is a cylinder. So I'm going to go get myself a deli sandwich now. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.